Hi everyone, welcome to or back to my booktube channel and welcome to my last book haul of 2023. It is official, I am putting myself on a book buying ban until I think February. February is my birthday month so I'm hoping that I can hold off until then and then like go crazy. So yeah, we'll see if that happens. Subscribe to find out. We're on the floor today because I just decorated for Christmas and I thought that this was so cozy and a vibe, so I hope you don't mind. Let's just start. I'm gonna start with two books that I have talked about on my channel, but they weren't included in a book haul, so. These are part of the Once Upon a Broken Heart series, the trilogy, and I read the first book and I decided that I loved it and I'm going to love the series so I may as well buy like the pretty hardback covers. So that is what I did. These books are so gorgeous. I am so excited that I'm showing them to y'all now because I am going to be displaying them. Here's the paperback of the first book. Let me like kind of briefly talk y'all through these books. Basically, it's just like a fantasy that's very fairy tale esque we have our main character, Evangeline Fox, who like is obsessed with true love, happy endings, needs that for herself. Same girl, I get it. She's a bit delusional to be honest with you, but she bargains with the Prince of Hearts and that just causes a lot to happen. So I'm super excited to get to these. Okay, and then next up, the books I bought yesterday. I, I moved them to the top because I wanna talk about them so bad. We have a special edition of The Do-Over by Lynn Painter. I think that this is the cutest book. Once again, y'all, look at the cover. Look at these sprayed edges. I have this already in the hardcover, so I'm excited to now own this special edition because I really did like this. This is kind of like a Groundhog Day kind of book. It's also a young adult romance if you're not familiar. Basically, we have Emily, our main character, um, waking up over and over on Valentine's Day, and she has to rewatch her boyfriend cheat on her like every single day, so that really sucks. Then we have the love interest that she continuously runs into as well. And it's just really cute. Honestly, I didn't want to read this because of the whole time loop, Groundhog Day kind of thing, but I really, really enjoyed it. So if you haven't read this because of that trope, I would still honestly recommend it. Okay, and then sticking with Lynn Painter, I bought Betting on You, her newest release. I am so, so happy I picked this up. Ugh, and it's hardcover. I actually don't know what this is about. Let me briefly read it. I literally just saw that it was Lynn Painter and I bought it, so. <gasps> Do they fake date? Hell yeah. Okay, and then it seems like they're also going through kind of like family issues and all of that. So, ugh, I'm so excited to get to this. This will probably be read in January, so stay tuned for that. Next up, we have Never by Jessa Hastings. Y'all, look at this cover. It is stunning. So I haven't read, oh, okay. I thought it was a Peter Pan retelling in the sense of like different characters, different names, just like the same vibe. But just from looking at the back, it says Neverland, Peter and all that. So I guess this is really staying true to the whole like Peter Pan thing. I don't want to read any more of the back. I have obviously loved the Magnolia Parks books. So I'm hoping that I love this one as well. All right, and now we're going to get into the rest of the books that I bought at Half Price Books while I was visiting my hometown. Also, I'm so, so sorry. I'm not going to be able to peel off these stickers myself. So they're all gonna have stickers on. I'm sorry, they will be taken off soon. First off, we have From Luke Off With Love by Mariana Zapata. I have not read any of her books. And so I'm so excited to read this. I was literally thrilled when I found this used. And it's not in the best condition, it is definitely worn, but that's totally fine. That's what you have to expect with secondhand books. I'm glad I was able to give this book another life. Damn, this book is huge. This is a romance book that's over 500 pages. I have never done that before. <laughs> that's actually why I haven't read any of Lucy Scorer books. So I guess we're giving it a shot with this one. I don't know what this is about, let's find out. Okay, I think it's giving enemies to lovers. I don't really know what this is about. The back of it's really short, but it's giving ice skating, I think. Ooh, next up we have The Long Game by Elena Armas. Have I read either of the books by her that I already own? No, how dare you ask me that? But <laughs> I'm excited to read this. He's a soccer coach? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I heard like one person compared to like Luke and Lorelai's small town. 
and I was like, okay, I have to buy it. Okay, yeah, struggling local soccer team. And it says she's playing the long game, so I'm assuming that means slow burn. I hope so. Oh my gosh, speaking of Lucy's score, I forgot I bought this, it's huge. Y'all, it's like 560 pages. Whew, why did I get this? Just kidding, I know why I got it, it sounded great. Because on the back it says, you don't fall for your brother's high school sweetheart, your boss's daughter, or your ex's wife's best friend, especially when they're all the same woman. And I was like, oh my gosh, love it. I live for the drama in books, so. I also think there's subplot mystery, which honestly makes me want to read it, especially like, even though it's this long, it's not just like, a little romance like it's deeper there's a mystery hopefully the romance is deeper i don't know but i'm very excited for this oh i forgot i got this too i literally bought all these books and then i like shoved them in a corner so i would forget about them but we have the godparent trap i don't know if i've heard anyone read this maybe like one person maybe destiny okay so what i'm taking from the back is that our main character colby has lost her best friend and she had these kids. And then he was the uncle of these kids, now turned co-guardian as well. Honestly, that sounds cute. Love a little forced proximity. Oh, and it's dual POV, slay. Okay, and then I found one for my enemy used and I was like, what did I do to deserve this? Oh, this, the cover, the like inside sleeve, I don't know the right word for this, is actually stunning. Like. This is the family of girls. And then this is the family of guys because this is like a Romeo and Juliet retelling set in New York. Oh my gosh. I have not read anything by Olive e. Blake. So this is kind of my gateway into her. Also, this is a fantasy, right? Yeah, love, magic, and rival witch families. Oh my gosh, that sounds so fun. Okay, and then another book I bought yesterday but I forgot to include it earlier is Love Redesigned by Lauren Asher. I have not read any of Lauren Asher's books. Like, I know the Dreamland Billionaire series or whatever that is, is super popular. Oh my gosh, it's 500. Oh, I thought it said 600. <laughs> it's 500 pages too. Oh dear. I don't know, but I've seen people read this already and they swoon over Julian, I'm pretty sure. So I am excited for that. Oh, childhood rival and family frenemy. Cute. I don't love childhood friends to lovers, but if a little like enemy plot is in there, maybe I will like this more. Here's our stack. We'll put them back by the Christmas tree. That's the cutest thing I've ever seen. But yes, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please let me know if you've read any of these books and what your thoughts were. I would love to discuss. And yes, that's all I have. So I hope you guys are having a great day, reading a great book, and enjoying Bookmas. I will see y'all in the next one. Bye guys.